he's walking. And they were able to hide themselves among the trees in the garden or in the plantation. Because how do you plant trees, multiple trees in a, in a garden? Or are they in a plantation? Okay. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, where are you? So he couldn't find, meaning that he's not having the present. So he said, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. These are all, another, again, you wouldn't be afraid to be naked in front of your God. You pray in a shower. So these are human attributes. These are attributes of a man. And he said, who told you that you were naked? You see what I'm saying? So this knowledge was something that someone told. And then they flip the narrative. Have I eaten? Have you eaten from the tree which I have commanded that you should not eat? But you see here, it says the serpent be deceived me. See, they told you what to think about the serpent. But if you if you look at the word deceived, you'll see that that's gaslighting. It's it's projection because this means to cause to believe something that is not true. Well, that was what everything the serpent said was true, right? Typically in order to gain some personal advantage. Well, what was not true was that they didn't, they, they would die in the day to eat it, right? And the reason why that was said is because it gave them a personal advantage of keeping Adam and Eve from the fruits of knowledge, which would have what? Made them unfit to be enslaved. Because as soon as they had the knowledge, the Lord had to let them go. But if you look at the big, the defin the the definition of deceived is to swindle, defraud, cheat, trick, hoodwink, hoax, dupe, take in, mislead, delude, defile, outwit, lead on. So who's doing that? Because when you look at the King James Version, the same word in the same verse was used beguiled they changed the word they changed the word the serpent beguiled me and I did eat beguiled means to charm or a chance someone sometimes in a deceptive way but not necessarily to attract to enchant to entrance to win over to woo to captivate charm bewitch bespell bond dazzle hypnotize a lot of different words can be described, but the serpent didn't have an ill intent. We learn that the Lord in verse 22 said, behold, the man has become like one of us to know good and evil. Now, at least he put out, put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. He was taken. That's why he said he took the man. He took the man. And then he sent him back from where he was taken. And then another generation, he put an enmity, like he said he would do, between his sons. And then the next, the next chapter, in the next generation, Right? What happened? Enoch was taken. In the Old Testament, it's Enos. But Enoch. Enoch walked with God. And he was not. For God took him. He lived 365 years. As in our calendar. Okay? He was called Adam because the comedic deity Adam formed himself and then uttered man and woman, like we saw, creating them together. Okay, as we saw in Genesis 1:27, Adam was formed, not creating, meaning he was shaped and configured like a sheep that's formed from a wild mooflin. We were forbidden from this knowledge. Because we are Adam's descendants And knowledge makes a man and woman Like gods knowing themselves Rather than 
believing and practicing their lies. The serpent, which was the key to wisdom, right? Uh, he said that, for in the day you eat of it, right? You will, you will not surely die for God knows in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God knowing good and evil. Again, that was changed. If you look at the, the older version of it, it says, for God doeth know that in, day, in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and you shall be as gods knowing good and evil. So this is the reason why it's capitalized. They capitalized, drop the S. I'm going to show you something here. But you see how they changed the word subtil, right? To further demonize the character, right? So if we look at the New King James, you see cunning. Subtil, cunning. They're changing these words to demonize the characters because they are black. Beguiled was changed to deceived. They're telling you what to think. It's gaslighting. But right after serpent said, your eyes will be open, guess what? It says, so when the woman saw the tree was good for food, it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree desirable to make one wise, she took up her food and ate. See that that third eye is wisdom. One eye saw, two eyes. Third eye wit, wise. Why wouldn't she want to be wise? Then it says, then the eyes of them were open. Exactly what he said. Your eyes will be open. And then what happened? They sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. So they became procreative. Remember, it says God created and made. They became like gods. They became pro-creative, right? In the next, in the next chat, right afterwards, he knew Eve, his wife. Knew is knowledge in the past tense, right? Aya, which conceived and bore Cain, and how obtained a man by the Lord. See that Lord, not by God. Lord. All right, so we we don't even acknowledge the differences between God, Lord God, and Lord. Right. We don't you see here in chapter chapter three, chapter two and three, we're talking about Lord God. But in chapter four, it's just the Lord. You see, because of sex. Adam was eventually released back to his land because knowledge makes him unfit. One an unfit slave, right? Because knowledge makes one an unfit slave. Knowledge is power, but to withhold man from it is the f evil forming of a slave. It's a master enslaver rather than being a master teacher. A master teacher shares knowledge, right, to appreciate its protege, but a master enslaver only gives enough knowledge for that entity to benefit himself. It says three times that Adam was taken. He took the man out of the ground. He was taken. All right. Or out of the dust. He was taken like his grandson Enoch was taken and walked with God for he was not. 
And Seth is the lord of the red lands, god of war, desert, envy, and confusion, among many other attributes. Seth slew Asar, his brother, like the story of Adam's son, Cain and Abel. Genesis 3.5, Seth became lord of the black lands. His bloodline infused and confused, replacing Cain's. We now refer to Kemet as Egypt and Cush as Ethiopia. Hagar was an Egyptian enslaved by Abram's wife, Sarah. Zephyrah was Ethiopian, married to Moses, a foreigner who cursed her people. Exodus 4.24 Hagar would become the mother of Abraham's first son, Ishmael, but he isn't recognized either because he was blackened. Like Moses, the son of an enslaved African woman who hid her son for the sake of his life. Ishmael married an Egyptian wife, making Abram's seed black in the lands of Ham, promised to them by the foreigner master who manifests destiny by the foreign god who's the master of man of destiny out of egypt i call my son matthews 2 15 quotes an unknown prophecy from jesus unknown father suggesting he was kemetic which was renamed Mizriam in Egypt by foreigners to confound the language to prevent us from knowing who we are. Calling out his son, so Mary and his stepfather took him to the land of his kindred to protect him from a kingdom gone mad, waging mayhem against young men. This is what's happening today. Misled by a people misled by the wise men forecasting the future with their false prophecy again plaguing the house of a pharaoh so what is happening today and what we've seen happening throughout this 2020 is what is in these chapters there's only 22 chapters in revelation there the boy lived in a society based upon knowledge in egypt Whereas his peers in Nazareth, north of Judea, or Judah, were deprived of the knowledge of who they were on the south side. And we all know who lives on the south side, where it's hot in the streets. Jesus traveled overseas. This was mistranslated as if he was able to walk on water, but at that time, international travel was rare and on water as opposed to in an airplane through the gateways above the clouds. A man today from an inner city who was taken across overseas to Egypt as a child, when he returns home, those that are close to him will marvel at how different his experiences have made him Jesus was a little lamb whose mother's fleece was as white as snow but his real father was not he was kept in the darkness in a society ruled in secrecy you know like Moses was hidden therefore Jesus had to be hidden too Moses turned water into blood. Jesus turned water into wine and then wine into a symbol of his blood. Moses had mixed the bloodlines of Kemet, which became leopardous like snow. Moses' hand mixed the bloodlines of Kemet, which became leopardous like snow in Exodus 4, 6, and then restored like his other flesh in 4, 7. The verses... curses Jesus reversed piecing together the leaves of the tree which were for the healing of the nation so that there shall be no more curse because he's the Alpha and Omega the beginning and end the first and the last the river 
And he showed me a prayer river of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the land. In the middle of the streets on either side of the river, see, the river was the street, a mode of travel. On each side of the river was the tree of life, the tree of life which connects us to the Genesis, the beginning, the end, the first and the last, the Genesis, the revelations, which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were full of healing of the nations, and there shall be no more curse. Why? The Greek is Blessed are those who do his commandments that they may have the right to the tree of life. And may enter through the gates into the city, but outside are dogs and sorcerers and sexual immoral and murderers and idolaters and whoever loves and practices a lie. Abram misled the Egyptians, telling them his wife was his sister. And this wasn't a lie, because she was his father's daughter, but had different mothers. But his foreign ways plagued the house of Pharaoh and the Philistines and everyone who else, just like in our nation today all right man that's it for today let me know what your comments are your thoughts are peace